It is a hot one. It's the first week of July, and even though it's hot, I still have work to do with my beehives. Welcome back to Bee School. Typically, you would never want to check on bees during the rain for the comfort of the bees. They, they don't like the rain. They're nice and safe and dry and warm inside their hive, so you don't open up the hive during the rain. You typically don't want to check on your beehives in the heat of the day for the comfort of the beekeeper. But, as we all know, sometimes timing just doesn't work out the way we think it will. So, here I am, first week of the July. It's probably the hottest day of the year so far, middle of the day. But this is when I have time to check on the bees, so I'm going to do it. So every time before I get into the hive, I'm going to just give them a little bit of smoke just to try to kind of calm the bees down. So I typically will smoke down below, I'll put a little smoke under the lid, and then I'll also smoke a little bit into the entrance. Then I'm ready to get into the hive. So if you remember, I put this box on just a couple weeks ago. So this was completely empty, just had empty frames in it about two to three weeks ago. And you can see, to give you an idea of how quickly this hive is expanding, let's see here. So they haven't started getting into, they're just starting to do some wax on these outer frames. But these center frames look like they are gonna be full of honey see here look at that so you can see here they are pulling wax which means that they're making that honeycomb and you should be able to see in some of those it looks like they're starting to put a little bit of pollen in a couple of those so they still got a little bit of ways to go to build out the wax in that frame but typically bees work from the middle out. So what I think we'll find is that these center frames have a little bit more honey. Yeah, look at that, okay. So you can see the queen has gotten into the second box. So we have a ring of honey and then the queen has been laying eggs and it looks like these have hatched, starting to hatch out, and then the ones on the outer areas are not hatched out yet. So both sides of this frame are almost entirely brood so these are eggs that will soon be uncapped and start hatching so you can see all these different bees are kind of monitoring that taking care of that the cells that are empty they clean out one of the ways to tell if you have a good queen is you want as few empty cells as possible that means that she's laying very efficiently so I, i'm very pleased with this there's not that many right here these larger cells, those are drones. We talked a couple weeks ago about the difference between male bees, the drone bees, and worker bees. So I can tell right there, that's all drone comb in these larger cells. And then these over here are the worker bees. So the vast majority are gonna be the worker bees. Okay, this frame is honey, and you can see there's very light colored honey that the bees are placing into these cells. So this, this frame is heavy, it weighs a few pounds. You can see this side, they're laying eggs on this side, but this side over here is all honey. And I could tell the second I picked it up that it was gonna have a lot of honey in it. So what the bees do is they fan that honey to evaporate the water out of it. And I don't entirely understand how they know, but at a certain point they know that it has the right moisture content and then they start to cap off that honey, which is this really bright white wax that's going over the top of these cells here. They're starting to cap that honey off to preserve it so that they can eat it during the winter when they need it. 
as a beekeeper, if I do everything right, I should give the bees the right situation where they can produce enough honey for themselves and then also have enough honey for me to take as well. Here's something interesting too. When I opened up the hive and took the boxes apart, I accidentally tore up some of the comb that the bees had been making. And so here you can see these are bees that are in the larval stage. And so I brought it out of the hive so you could see them because there's no way that they'll hatch now. So that gives you an idea of what the bees look like inside those cells when they're closed up. And then in another week or so, they would have turned in to the bees that we recognize.